herbing around that I'm doing right now is I'm taking yucca flowers. And for dinner, Jason and I are going to have it's a yucca Alfredo. And so you just take the flowers off of the stamens and the sepals and the sexual parts. We don't want those. And we're just going to take the petals. And that's the part that I'm going to be boiling for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to make an Alfredo sauce with, this is garlic butter made with ramps and wild garlic from back in the, in the early spring. So it's been frozen. I'll take two tablespoons of that melted in a pan. And then I'm going to add to that some half and half, or you can use oat milk if you are dairy free. And then to that, you add Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and maybe some basil, uh, fresh basil or parsley or whatever you'd like. So you just cook these as if they're actually noodles and they absolutely have an amazing texture. They can be fried. I have never tried that, but I intend to. I got quite a, a stash of them and I'm excited about pickling them and doing some of the things that I've never done before. So in this little bowl here, I'm putting the buds, the flower buds, because those two are edible. They have much more of a crunch factor. You want to have them a little further along, like this one here. If they're too far along, then you have to open them up and get out the stamens and the ovaries and stuff as well. But this one's just pretty young, so I'll throw that in. So I'm going to go ahead and put these into the water, which is boiling, and set the timer for 10 minutes. Here, do you see? You see this flower petals? Are they beautiful? You can eat them uh, raw, but they'll make a little scratchiness in the back of your throat. They're much better boiled or fried, which I'm going to try this week. I'm so interested in just exploring this plant. We'll have some poke for dinner as well. And then I have some leftover chicken. So that's our dinner. I'm going to be garnishing with edible flowers because that's what our talk is on tonight. So I've got my noodles done and my butter is almost done. I'm going to get a strainer out. My little milk cow has some oat milk in it. But now I'm going to take my noodles or my yucca flowers and just put them right into the Alfredo sauce. That looks like noodles, don't you think? Sure, it does. So Where's Max? I don't know. Is he outside? No, he's not outside. I have a lot of options here. <laughs> what do I want to do? I know what I want to do. These are so cool. These, um, Brian taught me about these. These are vetch. This is not crown vetch. He had another name for it. But it's also in the legume family. And they taste amazing. And I found these at the Green Valley Park. And I said, Brian, what is that beautiful purple flower? And he was just eating them like crazy. And I'm popping them in my mouth. And they were super sweet. And they taste just like green beans. So they're also, like I said, in the Fabiaceae family. And so good. And so then I think what I'll do is just add, just because, because we can, add a little bit of that weight. Well, I, I don't. I want to add just a couple I more. I want to taste the, the actual the Can they entree. see how pretty it looks? Certainly. They can. Yeah. And that look nice. Yeah. A lot of color and there's some nice texture in. That is cheese on me. Anything with Parmesan good. cheese or bacon. Yes, is yes. Your yes. Surprisingly, surprisingly good. Please try. Oh my gosh, my stomach's growling. No, you can have the rest. We'll have. No. We're gonna have it for dinner. It has a lemony flavor. Why? Um, why would it have a lemony flavor? Just a. Oh, because I put lemon in the compound butter. That's yeah, why. probably a slight lemony flavor. You, yeah. You'd like to try it? Okay, I'll just take you a gotta, bite. You gotta. You gotta be able to tell them what it tastes. Look like. How pretty that looks. So I think when you decorate with edible flowers, it actually makes it more alluring. It's, yeah, it's warm enough. I think quite good. It's got a very wow. smooth and mild taste and. It's got little hints of taste that make oh, it good. That is so good. Uh, now, you didn't even use cream. You didn't use... I any, used oat milk. You used oat milk, which makes it much lighter and it's right. non-dairy. Right, so those of you that are right. non-dairy or gluten-free, knock yourself out. 